Hey everybody, this is Gary Fong, and the following is an excerpt from my newest course, Unleash the Power of Your Sony Alpha. Our full course offers nearly five hours of video instruction with topics instantly accessible with our new sidebar navigation tool. No more endless scrolling. And you'll love this. You'll get a PDF of all of the menu items listed by tab, page, and line number, and then cross-reference for fast locating in alphabetical order. Visit us at sonyalphacourses.com. Okay, now let's go to your tip. Okay, let's talk about proxy recording. Proxy recording is necessary if you're doing 4K files because when you're doing these huge 4K files, just to do the editing, it's really, really taxing on the CPU and incredibly slow. Why not take it down to a 720 file, do all your editing, and then toggle that, switch it over to the 4K just before output, and that's what proxy recording affords you to do. That's why it's so important to understand how this works because it's incredibly mysterious, especially the file management. So when you turn on proxy recording, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my 4K. So I'm recording in 4K, and then I turn on proxy recording, and when I do that, now when I record, I've got I've got myself two different files that are being written. Now where are those files being written? Inside the capture card you have two folders. One is called DCIM and one is called private. For the life of me, I don't know why they thought that because it certainly isn't user friendly. DCIM is where your still images are. Private is where your private things are. I don't know. Now AVCHD is a container that puts all of your AVCHD files, if you're on a Macintosh, into a single package, which you cannot see the individual clips until you open them in QuickTime or put them into uh, Adobe Premiere or whatever. And so only upon opening do you are you then able to see the different clips and only upon double clicking them are you able to export them. Now that doesn't ap apply to when you're actually editing in Premiere Pro but it does make it extremely hard when you're on a computer and you want to edit and see the last ones. You literally have to export the uh, QuickTime file. So if you're going to be doing a lot of movie, try to focus on the XAVCs because those images will then wind up in a package called, of course of all things, M4 root. You know, why not M4 root? It makes so much sense. Nothing like the root of an M4. And then down here are even more uh, mysterious things called clip, general, uh, status bin sub and thumbnail when you look inside these things the thumbnail is I guess it's thumbnails of uh, the clips maybe um, sub sub I would like to rename this folder to proxy because the proxies go inside the sub and here under clip this should be called 4k so imagine, if you will, this is called 4K, this is called proxy. How easy would that be? But it's not that way. So when you go into clip, you'll see all of your different clips um, and all your uh, XAVC clips. Okay, general is empty. Right? So let's just get that out of the way. And if we could, in our minds, rename clip to 4K, sub to proxy. Okay, so now that you know that, Let's go to Premiere. So now we'll go into the media browser and then again remember your DCIM and your private. So inside private will be the M4 root and the Sony and the AVCHD. So we'll go in the M4 root and then let's go into clip. Inside clip we'll find our high res image. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and right click on this and we're just going to say import. So now it's going to import the file and there it is, okay? So now, when I right click on this, I will then go to proxy and we will attach a proxy. Okay, so now it'll say attach the proxies for this clip. It wants to find where that is. So now it's gonna ask us where the proxy actually is. So we go back down to private again we go into M4 root and now we go into sub, which is where the proxies are. Okay, so we'll just say okay. And then now we have the proxy attached. So now I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, up here, this is important. 
we need to add the proxy toggle. And I, this, this is crazy, I'm sorry, but here it is right here, toggle proxy. So if it's not already in your menu, go ahead and put it in there. Okay, so now you have toxel prox, uh, toggle proxies, that one right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the high res, your 14K, and I'm going to drop it in here. And now when you see when it's blue, that's when the proxy's on. When you see that it's white, it's when it's not on. So this is a really small file. Um, I just did this just to kind of show you how that works. But when you put it in blue, all you do is now you can do your uh, cutting, pasting, dissolving, whatever you want to do. Um, and then you go to File, Export, Media. And then what it will do is even though you're in proxy, when you export the media, you'll see down here that the output is 3840 by 2160. When it's in blue, I'm actually editing in proxy. So the only way that you know that you're editing a proxy file and not the big one, other than the amazingly fast editing time that you can with your previews is when the blue is on, you're in proxy. When the blue is off, you're not in proxy. I know it's incredibly kind of complicated and it's one of those things that you know people say hey if they learn it once then they'll never forget it well that's true because I now know that the subfolder is where the proxy is and I know you know where the clip folder is where the 4k is but it's not this is why I have a thing called unleash the power of your camera because of these conventions that the very very cerebral engineers put into here do not make it easier uh, for us to use. And that is how you use proxy editing, which is mandatory if you're shooting in 4K.